Hello, everyone, and welcome to NIU Overwatch versus Central Michigan University. I'm one of your commentators, Ostu125, and with me is PK0. What is up, Huskies? What is up, Husky Nation? We got a great game today against Central Michigan University. Looking pretty strong. NIU looking strong as always. Had a couple good. Uh, had a couple good uh, scrims this past week, getting everything set up uh, for today's match, and uh, should be a very good one. So I hope you are all excited with us. I think it's going to be great today. Oh, I think it is going to be great today. We're starting on Busan as our control map. So we're going to see how things go. I know we've been working on that one leading up to this game, so it should be no no lack of experience here. For, for NIU. It's not. Absolutely. So it looks like we are going in. Downtown, maybe? It looks downtown like first. maybe downtown. Oh, no, I think we're in Mecca Base. We might be in Mecca Base. Let's see. All right, just making sure I have everything set up. And we are going to uh, throw it in game. Uh, looks like you guys can't actually see. There you go. All right. We are Maharaga. We are Maharaga. Love Mega Me. Welcome <laughs> to Busan. Yeah, we're on the Mecha base here at the start. And boy, oh boy, have we been cooking. I mean, yes, we can, we we can see it right cooking. now. We are cooking. Maga, Maga Bastion May. It's kind of like our... Our go-to as of yesterday. Yeah. Just yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> we we got the comp, but boy, oh boy, does it work. So let's see some good action here. And I think even yesterday with practice, we definitely got some good practice in with this comp against Rush. So I think NIU is going to be very confident going into this matchup. Mm -hmm. Already entering a poke phase here. Just looking. Unfortunately, the Lycro is going to get found out at the start of the match. But they're only down one, and now you could definitely flip this. There's ammo out of central, so it could still it could still be good. It looks like NIU just wants to back here. You know, unfortunately, we are still down a person, and unfortunately, Racer is gonna fall there, and NIU is just gonna have to look for a complete back right here. Central Michigan is gonna cap point first. Tough first fight. But definitely doable. We had the Ramatra very low, and we had yeah. the aggression there. Looks like we are changing it up a little bit, seeing a Torp variant of this comp. We'll see how that works out for I us. think it's to help with just get a bit more spam there, more damage. Yeah. Definitely get them lower, and they just wow. walk over the May. Not even a, a second to breathe and try Not to use Ice all. Block. Huge slam. Huge slam. Basically looking to try and find the two. Uh, unfortunately, he wasn't able to find them. Give Ramatra weak here. They get out more cooldowns. NIU definitely looking up. There goes their bat. NIU definitely looking to flip this here. And it's a good flip. May's going to stall out here for a few more percents for them. But in the trade, it's going to be a stagger for them, which is not good. NIU flipping here. Going to look to hold. Absolutely. 42%. Not a massive lead, but a lead nonetheless. We're going to see some aggression here. The Drop in the cage. Out. Hopefully the only person frozen here is Racer. We'll definitely be able to... Oh, definitely will be easy to keep him up. And how are you committing three ults? <laughs> the 3k with bomb, though, is massive. I mean, 4k. There, there, there's, 4k with ult. There's the play of the game. <laughs> I mean, right there. Wow. I think that was through the startup of window? Yeah. Must needs, have been. Who needs several ults to be popped when you can just land one bash to right click? Yeah, he definitely didn't know that was going to land and threw a window because, yeah, he immediately popped off but didn't even need it. I mean, that was the fight right there. Oh, oh. This E combo, oh, unfortunately, for Allegro's going to fall early. But NIU still up a player right now. Good aggression Racer, by Racer, ooh, keeping it alive. Big ammo to save Racer. And this lava is going to be big to just keep them in the room, and they can't get any further progression. I was going to say, NIU's 
kind of big cornerstone for this comp is using that Malga E, his little lifesteal ability with Allegro's configuration turning into that turret, just able to keep up massive damage. And basically, Allegro kind of becomes unkillable he really when does. it's happening. He can just dish out so much damage while he's in the tank configuration. Oh, yeah. And with immortality, the life too. I and, mean, and, yeah, I was going to say, and Mo still on the board, too. Like, theoretically invincible. And there we see the combo again. That's just NIU holding their cooldowns, just waiting for them to walk in, using those two in conjunction. And they just, they get it. They're going to get it every time, probably. Unfortunately, Flip Flop is down for NIU right now. But we're still looking to hold strong. We find more picks, and that's almost the whole team. Central doesn't have any ults to flip this, so and I use looking for a clean close. And that is going to be map one on Mecha Base for control. I mean, that was a strong showing, you know. Gave him 42% in the start, but I think we really found our stride. I think, th I think May could have worked, but I think the swap to the Torb also did just as well. You know, yeah. May, May could have worked, but you know, great yeah. swap from Flawless. I was gonna say, Definitely and I'm kind of, I'm kind of surprised that we opted to play the May because I know we've like the couple times we've been playing it, we've ended up swapping to the Torb, and I'm just kind of surprised that NIU decides to roll out with yeah, that. Yeah, but I think it's because you know you even before this Maga comp, typically it is May on Mecha base, so mm, maybe that's yeah. kind of what they were thinking. Yeah, but we're here on I believe Shrine yes. on Busan. Very and different. NIU just completely switching up the comp. No character even the same. We have Hog, Ash, Tracer, Ana. It's going to definitely be interesting. Um, it's probably going to be like a slight split in the group. Tracer kind of doing her own thing. Hog holding down point mainly. And then like the other three kind of playing as a group. But I think it's going to be a little bit hard for them. Especially with this rush. Because probably going in every fight from like now on. And unfortunately, flip flop is going to fall. I was going to say, but going into like every fight, you know, the rush comp is probably just going to go look to collapse on the three players that they have kind of playing by themselves. So I think NIU can definitely make it work, but it's going to be a little bit hard for them, I think. And Central Michigan is going to get the first flip again. NIU was in the same situation last map, though. Or last, yeah, last map. So definitely. Definitely not an uncomfortable situation. And there's a hook. massive hook on the Baptiste is gonna force Mo and a couple other cooldowns, which is big for NIU's advancement. Flawless does fall though, but it's still an even. We did fight. trade for the Baptiste. So yeah, it's a trade for the Baptiste, up. so it's better for us. Massive TNT from Allegro. Like to see a big hook into this pig pen here. Yeah. Get the May just looking for just racer just sitting here and waiting for a hook looking for something another massive tnt unfortunately allegro falls right as he gets bob massive pick on the lucio and now you may be still able to do something with this nano onto the tracer looking for that bap still and they want to commit to this yeah looking and i is definitely still wanting to fight this they're on the elect and and niu up just several Definitely looking to take this out. Good cleanup from NIU, but Central Michigan got a lot of percentage off of that hold at 67 already. Two thirds. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. No swaps Still appear no to be swaps, coming out. Yeah. I think Central Michigan does, doesn't want to give up the ults that they do have. Actually, yeah. they swapped onto the Ana. They Definitely did, just going to look for purples onto Racer. Yeah, they already just found has to one. Be, yeah, I was going to say, they already found one right there. <laughs> He's just going to have to stay mindful of that. I'm sure he will be. Because if he gets a, like one good purple, and that could really be it. Bob's going to come out. They might look to burn Bob. Bob's going to get in some good spam. Oh, he found the hook, but it got cut off by a wall. Just looking to push the Ram out here. Ram still won, and I don't think he got beat there. Counter beat from NIU. Definitely going to look to keep them up here. And I think it's just May contesting point. There's this, the Sojourn ult coming out from Central Michigan. Central Michigan also flipped point back. And NIU just looking to close out, out with trades. 
And are you probably going to be able to? I don't think they know they capped. Back. Yeah, I, I was going to say I don't know, know if they do. Because it looks like we're going to fall here. Yeah. So hopefully, flawless and Hayes can just get out here. I mean, definitely and they are home. able to. This is definitely coming into a last fight territory for Absolutely. Central Michigan. And are you definitely gonna have to do some good plays? Central Michigan has some big ults on the board with Annihilation and Blizzard. That if they're able to get those off, it can just be over. Unfortunately, Racer is gonna get frozen, and I don't think NIU is gonna be able to take it. Yeah, you map know, two, going tough. to Central Michigan, but tough. we're just taking it to a map three. Yeah, get a longer showing. Yep, something that I kind of saw and I'd like to see improve from NIU, especially in that last fight. You know, as we as we swapped around, like right at the end there, mm -hmm. it looked like we we were looking at like three different targets. We mm -hmm. had Racer, Tunnel Vision, down the Ana. Mm -hmm. Looks like we had. Uh, Allegro kind of in a spot where he can only really get to Ramatra because mm -hmm. they were kind of playing their good cover. Yeah. And I think Flawless was either coming back from spawn or, you know, whatever he was doing on Tracer. We didn't get to see that. Um, could have been with one, but, you know, we saw the split there. And I'd, I'd like to see a little more focus on mm -hmm. one one call and just run it down. That's something we practice a lot. Yeah, the target focus is definitely a, a very key thing. Yeah, absolutely. But we're going, we're here downtown. New point, new map. New comp. What else is there? <laughs> Flawless looking to try and get this kill on the bat, or at least just keeping the pressure up on him. He's going to force out ML. Unfortunately, though, NIU does lose the flex support at the start, kind of early, but they take BAP right back, and now it's very even. And there's another pick. Allegro popping off with a 2K. Does get killed by Ramacha, but. Those two kills that he found before dying are still massive. Absolutely. And puts them into this stagger Lucio position and gets us the point. Yeah. yeah. Lucio will get and out. are you just looking, just going to look for, to do a strong hold here. Probably put Flawless on this high ground. Yep. And he's probably just going to look to hold it, get some good spam out. Because the only person that can really contest him is the Lucio and the Sojourn. But Sojourn wasting her slide to get up there. Yeah. Probably not the most realistic. Absolutely. And I'm sure we'll see a bubble in here from the Zarya Genji yeah, combo. Yeah, some aggressive Genji play. Just throwing him in there. Running it down in our Zarya here. Yeah, trying to run it down and just giving him charge. Allegro like, trying to find this pick on the Lucio. Just ends up licking away back at Ramatra. It's going to opt to Ooh, Racer falls, though. And I, you could definitely might, still flip this yep. with ults. And there goes the overclocked from Allegro. Looking to find something. Gets walled off. Maybe find Ooh, the Sojourn. And he does find, find the, the enemy Sojourn. Sojourn. The enemy Ramatra is still one. And I, you can very much Should still be able to take LOS this. That. Good beat to beat. keep them up. Like I said, oh. NIU still very much in this counter beat coming out from Central Michigan. They're mm -hmm. kind of just letting Allegro have free reign up here right now. Not they are not looking at him. Bap, Bap tries to go up, up there himself, but he shouldn't have been the first person to go up there. No, I think Ramatra is trying Sending, to meet him. And then they send everyone up there, and NIU almost gets a complete flip, and they're able to find two people. Up. They're going to okay. find the mate, and NIU is going to flip it right back. 28% though coming out from Central Michigan, but... All in all, very much worth it still. Absolutely. If only we could have held on to that point, but, I mean, yeah. when, when Ramatra pops out like that, you either got to run or you got to fight it, and then we chose to, you know, beat and then run. Yeah. Back into a poke phase. NIU, I think, definitely still feeling confident. We're going to see the blade coming out from Flawless here. Ooh, Unfortunately, tough. he wasn't able to find anything, but they are able to find the Kiri out of that graph, which is pretty massive, and Lucio. Four people falling from Central Michigan, and that's a team kill, I believe. Yep, team Only for kill. two ults. Yeah, only for two ults. NIU looking for a strong finish here. We're already about to be at 80%. Kind of last fight territory. Yeah, last fight territory. And all Central Michigan really has to work with right now is Blizzard, which is big for us. But all we have to work with is Overclocked. But I believe in the miracle of Allegro finding Oh, yeah. Let's watch this easy clip. Five I mean, he's going to counter it. Right there's the counter. He's going to counter. Let's see it. Ramasha just walking on. He finds the bat. Oh. Ooh, big unfortunately. flick from Zach. Yeah. But it's not but over yet. It's just, it's even. It's even right now. You know, just put, we just put both of our, uh, just all our resources into action. racing here, basically. Keeping him up because he's pretty high charged from what it looks like. Looking at his beam. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, the beat Trying coming out the though. Beat. That's tough. Just a little bit of stall. But now we're back, so let's see what's going yep. to happen now. Well, they're able to find the Baptiste. 
Maybe look for the Lucio now? Oh, Ooh, there's a uh, Annihilation trouble. coming out. But he's too far away. He's going to lose it. is down both of their healers. It's kind of... It might be flippable, but no. Falls Ooh. Racer, definitely not. Central Michigan going to flip this back, but... 30%. All, yeah, I was going to say. 30%. 30%. They're still at 30%. And they have no ults to work with now. NIU has Grav, which a big Grav, pretty massive beat to keep them up, even if they get into a kind of bad situation. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely, definitely looking to be an NIU's favor here. Absolutely. Definitely looking to be an NIU's favor here. So just looking to poke out, try to definitely get out of this choke right now. Usually the hardest part on just any map. And there goes the grab. Let's get that ammo. I'll shoot it. Get ammo out. NIU definitely finding both. Oh, finding a support. And the DPS up to Lucio, Lucio one. 1. Echo, Echo one. 1. Everyone <laughs> 1. Everyone dying. Speaking of 1, NIU just won map 1. Stick on Kiri, Bubble, and Fell. But NIU taking map 1. Huge showing from NIU here. Yes, definitely. Let's watch this play of the game. I mean, none other than Allegro with that massive... Massive sticky bomb. Yeah, and are you looking very, very warm now? You know, you could talk about some of the. You could talk about like, oh, Central Michigan flipped. You know, I'm sure that's not what NIU wanted, but still a very, very strong showing, nonetheless. Absolutely. And then we're just gonna be, you know, waiting here for two seconds, seeing where Central Michigan wants to take it to map two. It is going to be a hybrid map. Yes. My guess is probably going to be King's Row. It's always King's Row. Most people want King's Row unless you're a weird team. I feel like there's going to be like one team in the conference that's going to be like, you know what? We want to be different today. We want to be different. We're going to Blizzard World. We're going to Blizzard World. What do you mean we're going to Blizzard World? <laughs> Nobody wants to go to Blizzard World. <laughs> no one wants to do that. You know, if you're listening to us and you're going to play <laughs> us, don't go to Blizzard World. Just don't. It's not good for you. It's not good for us. It's not good for anybody. It's not good Nobody for Nobody wants anyone. Blizzard World. I What's think. The, what even is the other? Because I, I know it's King's Row. What's the I know Blizzard one? World. I have no Is idea. it maybe Eichenwald? Mm. I have no idea. I have no idea. Hmm. <laughs> it is the, their pick. Yeah, we're gonna see a pick. Hagaraga. What will it be? They're leaving us in suspense. Please. What will it be? Might please, see. Please, please, please. We'll see what map it is. We'll see if we get any swaps out here. Mm-hmm. And we will be back with some action shortly. Up 1-0. Close game mm -hmm. was 2-1 to one on our control. However, very strong, especially on that last point. I think we really found our, our groove. I mean, putting yeah. Flawless on the Genji is, you know, yeah. something that never loses. Yeah, I was going to say, his two his two comfort picks, if there's just two things you can always see out of him, it's going to yeah. be that Genji and that yeah. Farah. Genji, Genji and that Farah, and then, you know, the Tracer as well, following right up there. Yeah. Absolutely. Still waiting on a map pick. Exactly. I think they're Where discussing are we going? it. I taking taking a know. long time to type the word. King's We're going Row. to Midtown. No. What? I was wrong you about saying I could. Oh, I did no. not think about Midtown. Because I was gonna say I think it's only. Yeah, we haven't I talked say it's about only Ike. Like three. I was gonna say we've only talked about three three hybrid maps when we talked about it. That's so funny. Because one of the things we've kind of talked about before is we've been like, you know, oh, like, everyone, everyone's going to pick King's Row. Everyone's always going to pick King's Row. And here we are not going to King's Row. <laughs> we, we have a lot of talk. Yeah. I'm sure NIU will definitely still be able to make it work. We're probably going to start it off on defense. I feel like that's where we usually... Yeah, at know. least when we, do K when we do King's Row, that's kind of what we usually choose is yep. to start that defense. Yep. So... I'm kind of expecting NIU to go with defense here on Midtown. Yeah, we're still waiting for a call but here. Waiting for a call from Mr. Defense. Bossman. And there it is. Called it. Told you all. Told you. But it's kind of exciting, I won't lie, to see a different map. Because I Absolutely. will be honest, me personally, I don't like King's Row. But yeah. it's King's Row. Scrim's Row. It, it, whatever you want to call it. It's a classic. But, like I said, Midtown. Just Midtown, Midtown, Midtown. 
it will be interesting to see. I don't think NIU is going to really... I don't think we're going to change it up too much. I feel like we're probably still going to end up running one of our comps we typically, uh, typically run. Run. Probably just going to expect to see like a rush mirror here. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, definitely a sojourn. Yeah. I'd say definitely a sojourn. Sometimes... Sometimes we see like a like a Jorn Hanzo. Sometimes we see mm -hmm. Jorn May. So I think it's yeah, it's definitely, definitely up in the air. Yeah, definitely interesting to see what NIU is going to do here. And it looks like and we, we are, are going, going in. in. For those who may not have been here or just joined us in the last ten seconds, we're going to Midtown going for to our Midtown. hybrid map. In New York City, the Big Apple. Kind of an uncommon pick, but yeah, a pick nonetheless. It is a pick. It is a pick that we could do. I was gonna say I can imagine, you know, like I said, at the end of the season, if you look at like a spreadsheet or just everything, it'll probably be like ten percent Midtown, not even. This is, I'm hoping this is the one, the one Midtown game of all of ESC, the one, the one Midtown game. Ooh, NIU looking to roll Playing out on this Maga. Magaraga comp, as they've dubbed it. And bro, yeah, flop, flop with the normal copy pasta. <laughs> Average copy well, we'll talk about this. We'll that. talk about this. They're all saying stop, but we'll talk about this. If the lyrics say, two baddies, two baddies, one Porsche, is it two baddies, four baddies, is the driver a baddie? How many people are in the vehicle? You tell us, Twitch chat. You tell us how many baddies are in the car. I think it's the driver, two baddies, <laughs> one car. There's not four baddies. There's not two cars. Two baddies, the driver, one car. Or two baddies total, driver and passenger. Who knows? Moving on. We are starting here at first point. Central Michigan trying to make their way through the choke. Definitely going to be hard. Almost they almost the they almost find the May again. This comp has very, like, very push heavy. Like, Racer not even afraid. He got walled off from his team. Not even afraid to just keep walking. I mean, when he's got that E up, he's really invincible. Orisa will definitely look to slow down what Maga can do in this comp. But even with Fortify spin, I don't think it'll be enough. Especially with how NIU keeps stacking these two abilities of the Bastion configuration and that lifesteal. Just oh, Allegro's unfortunately going to fall though. Jumping onto this Ana, come on, flawless. Oh, that was close. Yeah, it was very close. He's gonna look to probably start putting pressure on this Kiri instead. I think she got out though. Still two not taking flawless. any takes though. Yeah, flawless is able to still find two picks and going on kind of a flank play here. He's just he's just kind of in and like, even if the Orisa chooses to turn towards him, they're just letting you know him they're just gonna have four other through. people. Get to walk into their supports. Yeah. And if early Arisa, but all it's not going to be able to find anyone. And now the two supports are kind of just free pickings. I think the carry was able to TP out though. TP'd out to the soldier. NIU coming up on five ults though. The last one we probably won't really have is Bastion ult. So maybe closer to four. But NIU looking to have a lot here. We're going to see a sojourn swap as well. Probably just looking. Central Michigan's probably just swapping to look for a really, like, poke-heavy. Just trying to get out. Even the Ana's... Or, they were on Ana. Like, they're just really to looking to, you know, poke out, get the resources out from NIU just so they can walk safer, you know? If you're walking into a team with no abilities, you know, what are they going to be able to do? Probably look for cage fight? Yep. yep. Soldier found. Unless the supports choose to feed in here, they're probably going to find the Arisa as well. Yep. And they do. Their false cage. Look to clean up this Sojourn. Maybe get Kiri? Anna still Anna in. in. The <laughs> and they're going to look to He's stagger. pulling out the hammer. Looking he for tried. the hammer kill. He did try it. He tried. I think we could have gotten a harder stagger on the Anna, though. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. A little bit flicked, longer. Cause, Maybe five seconds. I mean, what's going to happen? Kiri's going to have to TP out to help. Maybe a javelin, but... Fara, this hey Fara swap coming out from Central Michigan. They're just definitely they're looking to just pick. They're looking for the picks here on NIU, but yeah. NIU's just playing a really good game right now. I mean, of their space hiding, what have you. Ult coming out from Allegro here. NIU definitely probably even willing to give up a take or something here. 
Absolutely. I mean, if we dropped a window. Dropped a window, that's going to be good pressure. Central Michigan is set up, though, now. But NIU is just going to look to – NIU just has so much pressure with this comp that they can honestly just walk out guns blazing. We did get Bell out and, and Nade. going to happen. Bell and Nade already. Rush coming out, though, definitely going to be a little bit tough for NIU. There goes the Molten Core from Flawless. Looking to find someone else. Not sure. Looking a just, I think healing. everyone's just trying to look at this Orisa. Trying to get on the Ana. Missed the sleep. He was still in his charge. Yeah, and they're going to find Orisa. Probably find this, clean up the two supports here. Ana also going to die. Yeah, no room for a stagger. Maybe look toward the kill on Genji. Ooh. Be a little bit greedy. He's going to be able to dash out, though. Yeah, 12 seconds. Let's see. 10 seconds here. They're going to have a very scrappy touch, but honestly, it's just I up to the Genji. At all. And I don't think, yeah, I was going to say, that's. I agree with that. I don't think they're going to be able to touch seconds. at all. It would have been on Genji, but. That soldier you know, tried it. Yeah. Soldier but unfortunately, tried. he's walking into like 12 <laughs> bajillion points of damage. Yeah. Magaraga. All right. And that is a first point hold. That is a full hold. From NIU. NIU, at worst, draws it. At best, wins it, you know, and One it's... One cap. Yeah, I was going to say, all we're playing for is a tick at that on first point. So, NIU definitely, definitely in the favor here to be able to. Like I said, it's only... I feel like it's kind of an infamous word, though. It's only a tick. I know how many times I've said it's only a tick in yep. cop. Yep. And, and I've come out very upset yeah. after that competitive match. Sent back to the title <laughs> screen with a lot of rage <laughs> a after, lot after of rage. that. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. But, I mean, all I want to see here, I want to see just one, like, two picks. Two picks. We walk it in. I mean, we don't get we don't get greedy. Two picks. Yeah. Walk it in, clean up the rest. I mean. Yeah, in and out. Really, really with with the two picks there. Yeah. We're, so, we're fine. Yeah, we're like totally for fine. Very easy in and out. Like I said, like, it's. I think it's, we're going to be going fast here. Two I think. Yeah, I was going to say this. Fast SIM TP. Play. Yeah, this SIM TP. Swap into probably a Torb. Yeah, I was going to say, they're probably going to fill out this first fight, you know, See yeah. what happens with oh, yeah. the Symmetra being filled in for yep. that Torb slot. Yep. If the TP, and obviously, like you said, looking for TP plays. If the TP plays don't work, probably just back to that Torb, that high damage. Yep. Might not even TP here since they're holding up close. Uh, They'll probably, he's we'll probably out for, on it. Yeah. I was going to say, we're probably going to look for TP past Choke is what is what I was going to, yeah. is what I was thinking. Probably just yeah, look to. into that left room or into the window. Oh, into the even better. Left. They're looking though. So now, and it broke. Oh, That's they broke tough. TP. Unfortunately, he's, Flawless is going to be over here by himself. Safe though. But in the core that NIU has over here is just also still so strong in itself that Central Michigan can't really do anything. And TP going back up. <laughs> and he's, and he's just got to wait to TP the the four back. So now an interesting map flip here. NIU just still going to look to be pressuring here, really. See what they can find. See what they can get out from a poke phase. And then once they get those abilities out, you know, get out your MO. There we go. There's wall. There's and wall. I think they're going to walk it now. Yep. I mean, and there's turf Only Ramatra out. on point. Ramatra falls. This is going to be very good point pressure for NIU. I think we need to turn off the Ramatra now. Yeah, yeah. that's two. Unfortunately, they're going to be. Oh, they're going to find two. NIU down. Hayes and Flawless. Maybe still looking to flip it. Just looking for trades, I think, more so. Yeah. NIU falls. And Flawless is going to swap to the May. Now, probably just looking for wall plays for that. Yeah. Malga to just really the Malga and Bastion, especially Bastion and Turret form, just really Oh, we actually swapped Torb Ground. Zero. Oh, Torb flop. Figured the Torb probably was gonna come back out. I feel like the the Torb has a has had a better showing. Like Yeah. You know, you saw we play, we played the May. Oh, unfortunately okay, they're able to break, break through the wall. Fast window here. Let's see this damage. And they're going to wow. find the Bastion. That's definitely a big part of the damage for Central Michigan here. Absolutely. Like, I was really trying to get that Baptiste. And he's and gonna he puts him in the cage. Him. That's going to be three, it. He traps four in cage. Yeah. And I wow. Definitely, yeah. Wiping four. The only person alive on Central Michigan is probably the Bastion coming out of spawn. Not even a question of contest or not. So... NIU is going to take map two. Very strong showing with this Magaraga comp. Hey, I know Lucy will play the game. Hayes play. 
Let's go. And pit off. Hit that boob. Get that double headshot. Double headshot. And yeah. almost die. Hit the beat. <laughs> but she didn't die. That's the big part. Is it didn't happen. And we're going to throw it to map three. We're also probably looking for a slight break here for at least a few minutes. One, I know one of their players said that. And they, they picked Servasa. Servasa. They picked Servasa. No. I need them to add more. Uh, more, Do more. flash. They need to add more flashpoints and more push maps. Into, or more flashpoint maps and more push maps into Overwatch. I don't get why we haven't. We got another another new control map, but nothing for the other maps. Yeah. It just it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. I'm tired of going to the same. T well, yeah, I'm tired of going to like the same two places. And I guess we're pushed the same three. They did add in Esperanza, but nah. No. I need this to have more. Matter. I need more variety. <laughs> I think that's really part of the problem of what people have with the um Flash with like point. the two points. Yep. Like I was just gonna say between flashpoint and push is that it's just no variety. Yeah. Like I feel like with control, you know, so many people because it's like okay, we got like twenty five thousand different control points to mm -hmm. choose between. Yeah. And like yeah, they'll have some sim like some similar overlap, but like mm -hmm. you could say you know the same point, the same comps you'd play on Oasis. Yeah. You're not playing on Ilios, you no. know. So it's like that. Just more variety. More stuff for me to to deal with. More maps to learn in comp. Yippee. Yeah. Gotta find all those health packs. <laughs> I love finding health I packs. I love scouting all the health Don't pack worry. locations. You're not gonna have to keep looking for health <laughs> packs. When they add in self-healing for everyone. It's gonna be great. Passive self-healing. Just tell your tracer... Stop fighting them for two seconds. Go hide. Just go hide. It's fine. Just go hide. One health per second. <laughs> Insane. Wait, 150 seconds. Full health. <laughs> Easy. Sheesh. You might have waited for like half of the, the entire fight, but like, you know. That's half the even. entire game. Wait, yeah, I was about to say. You were actually waiting for like half the game. Yeah. Still on our mid-map potty break here. So get some water. Get some snacks. Hang out with us. We are up 2-0. Against Central Michigan, mm -hmm. taking it to map three, which is Servasa, Flashpoint. Mm -hmm. So this should be a fun one. I know we just were working on Flashpoint uh, a little bit ago. Mm -hmm. I think Flashpoint has been like our most stressed thing. Yeah. You know, because just because. I feel like we've been, like, I feel like our biggest struggle maps have, all, like, have just consistently now been, whatchamacallit, been Flashpoint, mainly just, like, going between points. But I feel like definitely now, we definitely have a really good feel of it, especially if you look a pat, like across our past two matches and even, like, what they've done in their own time. Definitely feeling stronger about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. With Kent State last week, taking Absolutely. it to map five. And even when we played Northeastern, definitely still feeling rather confident in what we're doing against them. Yeah, absolutely. Still on our break. Although it looks like we might be getting back into it shortly. Hopefully. They do have up to... Five minutes? I think it's five, five minutes. Five minute mid-map break? Like big break? Yeah. That sounds all right. I'm just ready to get back into some more Overwatch. Some more Overwatch. <laughs> and we're still... You guys can't see it, but we're still trying to figure out how many baddies are in the car. The Porsche, to be exact. But uh, I don't know if we'll figure that out. So we will. Uh, I don't think we will. <laughs> Unfortunately, flip flop, you're not getting an answer. We see a lot of people saying Coach Diff in the chat. Coach Diff, indeed. Coach Fergot, goaded. Fergot. We love Jacob. As he would love to say, was it Stan Che Wan? Isn't that his? N uh, no. Who do you like? No, that's all. Um, actually, that's no, crazy. he might agree with no, that. No, it's Che Wan. I don't know. Nah, I stand Sakura, so. That's me. That's me right there. 
What do you think Overwatch will do for their next collab? Oh, we got One Punch Man. There have been so many fan. big gaming collabs recently. Did you see the the Apex Final Fantasy collab? Yes, they added the, the Buster, Buster Sword, Sword looks to Apex. So cool. It's like three hundred dollars, but you know if you want to pay like three hundred dollars, you too can be mm. Cloud Strife <laughs> as Octane. You could. I think what I want to see for Overwatch's next collab. Yeah. And it's my own bias. Yeah. Is I want to see Power Rangers. We already got the Sentai That would game be so cool. With Genji. That we're like, cool. we're, we were already we're, we're right there. there. We were like, then they got the recolor as Red Ranger exactly. too. Exactly. We already got a recolor into two for two skins. I think we just go all in. But what would, who would be the other Rangers? I think the other Rangers would be Diva because you could okay. turn a Zord. Yes. Yes. Have the Zord as mech. the mech. Yup. Yup. And then I think probably like, I'd say probably Hanzo or Soldier. And then for supports, probably. I'd want to see probably like, or at least I'd imagine probably like Kiri, Zen, or maybe even like Ana. And I'm just, I'm mm-hmm. just mad that they're yeah. not willing to take this step because with Soldier, <laughs> we even got, we got a Common Rider skin with Soldier, the Bug yes. skin. It's, it's just Common Rider. Yeah. It's just Common Rider. Yeah. He has the belt and everything. Yep. We need a Super Sentai or Power Rangers crossover. Yes. For Overwatch. Yes. My people in chat. I need you all to Can't help me convince tweet Blizzard. Tweet at Blizzard <laughs> right at, now. I need you to at Blizzard. At Blizzard. And tell Where's them, Power Rangers? Where's the Power Rangers crossover? If they give us a Power Rangers crossover, they will be getting a more billion bucks out of me. Yeah, absolutely. What about a Power Rangers event? Like, I mean, what, what, like a like a skin, but then also like an in-game event. event. Like, like, make it like the, like the, uh, maybe it would event. probably be something like, uh, what they're doing right now, actually. You could even argue how there's always, like, the alien, like, with the Orisa Monster Hunter, like, yeah. Thing. Are you, like, hunting the giant Orisa? I feel like it'd be kind of like that. Absolutely. And we're going and in. We right are here. in. So let's get Zerubasa. us. Let's get us in game. Unfortunately, we can't talk about our crossovers anymore. Nope. We can't here. talk about our crossovers. We gotta talk about Overwatch. But the actual game. The real deal. Oh. Saravasa. Darn. First point. What is going to happen? And if you couldn't have guessed already, it's May Bastion Maga. Yeah. May and Flawless, Bastion Maga. Flawless probably looking to roll out here on the May, which. I mean, it, May is classic it, yeah, on Saravasa. Like, especially think, with this. You know, we had yeah. earlier. We had the May on Servasa. Last night we had the May on Servasa. I mean, you, you just play May. When you're I don't know. Servasa, I feel like May. I think and I use definitely gonna look to like fill it out. But you know, I'm gonna say it. I feel like we're gonna end up seeing Torp. So I'm kind of surprised that we didn't end up rolling out on like I think if, they, if they're able it. to win. I feel like yeah. I feel like if they win first fight, they'll probably keep the May. If they lose first fight, we might see the swap back to Torp. Yeah. Kind of looking at two different things. We got Racer on the May here. Yeah. Everyone else Turning on the back Ramatra. on the Ramatra. Almost Ooh. able to find him. That MO, Big MO break. gave him back a bunch of health. They got him down to one, but MO just instantly May caught like out. a fourth of your health. The pick on May is big. No more walls to cut off NIU. Even though this Sojourn on the high ground, who got found? The Sojourn on the high ground was almost a problem, but NIU able to clean it up easy unfortunately cmu does get the first flip again but only 25 percent niu only lost two people they're gonna taxi back allegro here look to set themselves back up and take and just take back their space get them like i said get themselves set up and just look to take the next fight Still no Ulsa on the board or anything, so still a fairly neutral game. Could Wall be already out one. from Central Michigan. Yeah, Central Michigan using a lot to get in. They do. We're make, we're really good at that, making them use their util. And this yeah. Ramatra, once he gets out of Nemi, he's going to be gone. Yeah, he's just one. He has no shield, no nothing. And, and I mean, that's what can you do when Maharaga is walking at your face? Literally, there's nothing you can do. <laughs> there's nothing you can do. Get and knocked down. And they find the bet. Trying to find the Lucio. He does yeah, he's amp fast. speed. He's just going to be fast. Fast little frog. Scuff touch. Scuff touch here. Very Lucio's going to touch. 80% here. Can almost guarantee we're going to see Kiefer touch over here. Yeah, we'll probably see. Uh, we're oh. probably going to see a couple ults fly maybe. 
Actually, no. I don't think they're going to be able to. It's 95. Ramatra is the closest, but he's about to be out of Nemesis. And the oh, huge and the wall. wall. The door is cut off. I don't think they NIU didn't touch. Gonna, yeah, they did not touch. I don't think NIU is still gonna commit any ults here. No, just no, look we for don't a need clean, to. a clean fight. Yeah, no or way. Or just, just make them back up. I mean, there are spawns right here. Big wall. Oh, and, and actually, Central Michigan's gonna commit, blizzard. but Both nobody's blizzards. in. Counter Blizzard, and we're gonna find the freeze on Ramatra. May also got frozen there, but she was around the corner, no eyes on her. So unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to find the pick, but. It's still massive that they found the two picks. Even though points not open, uh, and I use that a severe advantage that Central Michigan's just going to have to back out, and we're going to get the initial cap. Yep, now they're on Reaper. No May. Trying to um, counter this MAGA. Yeah, they're just looking to put a bunch of, to put uh, a little bit more frontline pressure Let's on. Let's see this. All oh, huge. Probably hit it. Big. Cage fight. Cage fight and coming out. Counter V to keep NIU up right now. Ooh. Was he dropping to find the soldier? I, I don't think know. he kind of slipped. But NIU doesn't matter. <laughs> still, it does. It, like you said, doesn't even matter. NIU still wins the fight, and pretty decisively too at that. That was three ults coming out of us. All we really have is window. NIU is just gonna have to really care for this soldier and ult when it comes out. Um. Yeah, they're just like I said. They're just gonna really have to care for that soldier because absolutely, it'll be it'll be their it'll be their point winner. Absolutely, we're gonna see a window right for assistance. Says, yeah, but they're already able to find out Central Michigan's tank, so they're gonna have to like to take this fight. Unfortunately, without their main tank, and they might not take it at all. Yeah, and I use pressures just too strong. They might look for a touch it. Uh, like 90. Oh, no. Not even no look for a touch. touch. They're just going to give it. All right. And I was probably going to look to clean them up. They probably knew that they couldn't really take the fight how they how they need to with. Interesting. No, no retreat. Early. Yeah. Looked like they were going to commit. But. And I you still just trying to chase them down. I mean, they're split. That Sojourn yeah, is split. They should split. know it. Unfortunately, they know this it. might be we have very, charge up. very bad for their Sojourn player. Oh, Actually, it might now, be worse for Ramat say, for Arisa Lucio. Yeah, Run it down. Don't get juked. Out. Have two on the other side. Lucio. And they're going to fall them off. Lucio, that's massive for NIU. Are they going to go on whoever's? Oh, oh the I, point I was on that see, side. No, we can't yeah. see the point. With where they were running, we thought well, I the thought other th point was point. That's, man. Interesting but slide from Zach there. Got him killed. NIU even... Big Blizzard, though, even though Flawless died, Blizzard's effects still massive. And the Orisa's won. NIU up very That's big awesome. in this fight. Hoping, oh, wow. massive, massive Blossom. And well, I mean, what can you do but, but watch him press Q? I mean, <laughs> that do? is that is classic Reaper. What can you do yeah. besides watch him press Q? That's very unfortunate from NIU. That, that whole chase that they were doing. That was very, uh, I feel like, kind of bad for, I feel like they should have ended up just choosing to chase the Sojourn. Like I said, we thought Point was the other one, but it wasn't. Yeah. But NIU definitely not looking to give this up still. Big let's damage keep, onto the keep Arisa our racer already. up. Boops, Lucio out of the MO, not able to find him, but they still break MO. Just looking for whoever else they can maybe find. Window out from Flip Flop. Try to run on somebody here. Get and some point pressure. NIU does get the flip. Gonna look to maybe try and find this soldier. Run him down. Run him yeah. down. Get him out of oh, here. Oh, he picks up the back. health back. He's able to get out. The legs lives to see another day. I mean, all all Central Michigan has to do is flip the point. Yeah, Central Michigan just needs to take one good fight, and they will be able to at least take one point off. NIU definitely probably looking to not let that happen though. And I'm hoping they don't let it happen. Just have a strong showing and close it out. Easy peasy. No problems, you know? Big, Big cage, cage fight. fight. The beat coming out from Central Michigan. Let's get this but map. Everyone in there is probably going to get gut. And they are able to find everyone. Did get a trade That's on the, the team on our kill. Lego. And. 
they're gonna the Doomfist is gonna have to have a very crazy rollout, but I'm gonna say it now. That's no, probably no, that's mad. That's right. It's 96. I, I don't think they're going to be able to get it. Oh, some good blocks. Like kill I on said, Lucio. Yeah, they got a big kill on Lucio and the big kill on Doom. And, you know, they were right there. Like, they were right there. But, unfortunately, they still weren't fast enough. Absolutely. We still got Maga play of the game. Maga play. We still got Cage Maga play from of the game. The end of the game. And, let me see. I'm gonna I'm gonna get us a, I'm gonna get us a post game interview. Post game interview. <laughs> NIU taking home their first W of the season. Let's go Huskies. Let's go Huskies. Honestly, go Huskies. Go Huskies. So I'm trying to get a very special guest. We'll keep it a secret for a second. Oh my god. Trying to get someone in here. Hopefully. They saw my message. <laughs> Don't know. But we're gonna we're gonna try to get him in here. Who could it be, people? Who is our special guest? And, and I do have confirmation. That our special guest is on the way. He's on the way. Let's go. He's on the way. Let's go. Going to have our first post-match interview first. of the season. One. First stub of the season. First post-match interview. And we're going to pick his brain a little bit. We're going we're gonna <laughs> to pick his brain. We're going to see what uh, we're gonna see what his what thoughts are cooking. about the last match. We're going to see we're going to see what exactly he's cooking as we welcome into the room. Mr. Maharaga himself, Racer59. Hello, Racer59. Hello, hello, hello. So, we saw some MAGA action on almost every map. I mean, how did that go? For oh, you? that was fun. I mean, we, we started it last night. First night we ever tried it. And, and how did you feel taking it into a game? Like, any nerves? What did you think about oh, it? Oh, no nerve. I think the warrant went, like, perfectly today. Mm -hmm. And then it translated, like, perfectly into the game. Sure. We were all very coordinated. For most of the time, at least. Absolutely. And then there was great uh, call-outs, too. So. Absolutely. I mean, some great alts, some great cage fight. We saw a couple play of the games out here from, from MAGA himself. But I want to know, what's the what was the thought between, you know, we had the MAGA and we had the May Bastion. We, we swapped around Torb Bastion a little mm -hmm. bit, May Bastion. How did that work with you and, and what you wanted to accomplish? Uh, I think it was more of Dayon's decision there. Yeah. Uh, he made a good point. Uh, I think the... Tor Bastion was a better fit against their uh, Rom Bastion May because mm -hmm. uh, that Bastion was getting deleted so fast when we were running that. Yeah, uh, absolutely. It could have been even faster if we didn't make some bad plays there. But uh, mm -hmm. we our, basically our game plan is would we rather go for a 600 HP Rom who can hold his uh, block or a Bastion who has 300 HP and it's like just as easy to hit. So Absolutely. And one thing I wanted to, to hear about, a fun, fun aspect of the game, what was with the sim on Midtown? <laughs> I want to hear that one. Uh, Dayon was feeling like, uh, I don't think Torb or May will be a good pick on this offense. And then mm -hmm. Allegro was like, I, I, we could go sim. So, hey. And then we we're like, we could. I, I said, like, I think May would be good for our rotations. And yeah. he's like, but sim also could be good for our rotations. He does have a point. And it didn't really work. We tried, like, a fake TP. And then like at that point, we was like, let's just go to Torb just to count that Bastion. So. Yeah, absolutely. So, final question for you. Do you think this MAGA is going to keep keep rolling forward? Do you think we're going to see maybe some nerfs? And, and how does that, how would that affect it? Or you think we're just going to full, full MAGA ahead? Uh, I definitely think we're going to keep practicing it. But I think what's most important is we're going to look at what Mes Western Michigan mm -hmm. has uh, offering for us uh, next week. And uh, I think we're going to adapt to that because at the end of the day, we're Maharaga. So. Absolutely. We are <laughs> Maharaga. Well, thank you, everyone. That's been Racer for our post-match interview. Tune in next Wednesday, same time, for Western Michigan University. And go Huskies. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.